Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Art House. Uh, I want to do a different kind of video today. Um, kind of a serious topic that I then wanted to tie into the theme of art appreciation and um, do a fun painting reveal. Um, you know, so this time of year, every year, on April 1st, um, 20 years to the day, I had a friend that, that passed um, that went off to the Iraqi war in the early 2000s and uh, passed away in Kuwait. And he was, um, you know, a really good friend of mine from um, uh, high school years. You know, we were really tight. And then I kind of went off to, you know, a school in the middle of the state. He went to a local school in Philadelphia. And um, we kind of lost touch a little bit, kind of casually stayed in touch. And then, you know, I heard he was deploying. And then, you know, soon thereafter, um, you know, there was an incident. Um, so, you know, it's been 20 years. It's kind of surreal. Um, I try to honor his memory every day. It's on April 1st, April Fool's Day, um, which is kind of ironic because he was a pretty hilarious kind of guy. Uh, great sense of humor. Um, always really lighthearted. And um, yeah, so, you know, I, I never had like a YouTube channel before or anything like that or any kind of platform. I would just post on Facebook for my friends and family. We'd all kind of pay tribute, pay our respects, um, let his family know that he's remembered. And um, now I got this little YouTube channel, so I thought I'd kind of take the opportunity to um, just have a moment of remembrance, um, you know, honor his name. Obviously, probably not many people watching knew who he was, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's important to remember people you care about and cherish memories in your life. And um, I wanted to relate it to art because, you know, I've talked about on the channel how art is very personal. Um, artists draw from their personal life experiences. Um, and for them, it's a form of creative expression, obviously. And it tells a story. You know, there's a lot of storytelling in artwork. And even for the viewer or the collector, someone that's passionate about art, it has meaning for them. You know, it tells a story from their own personal experiences. And, um, you know, a lot of people have been buying the Alpha Sorcery paintings, which is great. Uh, it supports the artists. Um, some people resold too. People resell for a lot of reasons. That's fine too. And that's great. That also um, helps the artists, you know, because the valuations have gone up and then you have more sales data and their, their work is more valuable. And one of the core missions of or my goals in getting into content creation and um, just tying to my passion for sorcery and hand painted art is to work with the artists. I now work with a lot of the artists to help them um, sell their artwork, but also, you know, to promote their brand and um, bring appreciation and awareness to their work because uh, it's, you know, I've resonated with a lot of the work in the sorcery, um, the sorcery TCG. Um, I, I don't want to pick favorites, you know, I love, it's, it's a very diverse um, set of paintings and artwork and it's a special thing, you know, because it's all hand painted art. You rarely see that nowadays. You see a lot of digital in these games. There's a lot of efficiencies that can be done with digital. We've talked about it on the channel. You guys can go watch, you know, the former videos. But, um, you know, like, like I was saying, art is a very personal thing. And um, I have been fortunate to purchase a few um, sorcery paintings. I've been trying, I, I want to get them on this wall eventually. Uh, most I don't have framed yet. I kind of get anxious about framing. It's, I want to do it right and I want to just love it. Um, so I procrastinate, but, and I kind of want to do it all at once, you know, cause you got to map out the wall, you got to fill it up. Um, so I'm working through that process, but I've been doing like little reveals here and there from time to time. And uh, I have one today that kind of relates to my friend. So in honoring him, um, you know, this piece really spoke to me on a personal level um, through that connection. And um, you'll kind of see why in a moment. But um, that's the thing, you know, like some people, artwork is an investment class. You know, a lot of people buy to invest or they hold it and they cherish it for a while and then they sell it and buy something else that, that they love, which is cool. Um, but it's, it's very personal, you know, and you should, um, if you're looking to get into art collecting, um, you should look for that personal connection and, and pick something that speaks to you. You know, there's a lot of risk and volatility in TCGs. And, um, you know, some do great and thrive and some kind of hang around for years and some just 
fail ethically. <laughs> so if you're going to buy uh, a painting, you know, hopefully it uh, touches you on a personal level and you can look at that and you can intrinsically um, experience, experience something through it. You know, it might remind you of a person or an experience and have some special sentimental value where you can look at that and feel proud to own it. It's not really to impress anybody or or whatever. Right. So that that's the case. All the all the pieces that I purchased personally um, reminded me of something or someone, some life experience of my own on some level. And, you know, I've been fortunate to get a lot get to know a lot of the um, different sorcery artists, too. And just it's cool to own something that they did and something that they expressed from their own personal uh, here we go with the virus scans again um, from their own personal life stories and a story and telling that is really cool. All right. So I wanted to show you the piece without further ado. This is Lindsay Kremetz season cell, cell sword, right? So you can kind of see the connection, uh, what I was talking about there. I mean, it's a female character, um, but I did a behind the art. This is, this is a piece I've had for a while. I was trying to hold out and get it on the wall. Um, but it's special, you know, like it's it, it's meaningful to me. It reminds me of a warrior in battle, um, bravery, courage, um, struggles and obstacles I've overcome in my life. And um, I think it's cool to have a woman character, too, you know, um, just because of, you know, it's different. It's hard being being a woman. <laughs> uh, I'm married to one. I have two daughters. I, I know uh, the trials and tribulations, um, but. Yeah, it's look at this piece, guys. It's it's freaking awesome. You know, it just looks cool. Um, it ties to personal aspects of uh, my personal life and life experiences, and it's um, really awesome. So, you know, if this game booms or fails, it's, it's not going to matter. Like, I'm going to enjoy this, and uh, it'll be something very cool and special to me. Um, so that's kind of it, you know. Uh, you know, in honor of my friend's passing, I kind of just wanted to show this, you know, he passed at a very young age, 22 years old, and it's been 20 years, you know, been gone almost as long as, as he lived, which is insane. And, um, you know, artwork is, is special, hand painted, you know, no algorithm. Um, you know, we, we live in this age of AI, um, shortcuts. It, it, art is a very personal thing. It's a handcraft. You know, like any skilled craftsman, it takes skill, it takes perseverance, a lot of either formal training or practice regardless, right? Even if you're trained, you got to practice, 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 and it's a skill you develop and grow over time, and it's super impressive. You know, I've never had the talent. I've had friends that did, um, that have come and gone, and uh, I would always urge them to push it to the limit. Just keep going, you know, keep producing. Um, and... Uh, it's really, really uh, amazing skill that I wish I had personally. Um, you know, I, I heard this term today called uh, NARP, and um, <laughs> it, it actually means uh, non-athletic regular person. And I, I translated that to non-artistic regular person. So that's, that's how I see myself. I am a NARP. <laughs> so um, anyway, let me show it one more time. It's freaking awesome. I'll get it on the wall. I haven't done it yet because I don't want to go screwing holes and mounting things until I have everything all framed up. Um, this one was done by Lindsay in an incredible way. Um, it just looks awesome. This is like an actually an older piece that she had done pre-sorcery that uh, Eric had seen kind of on her socials, I guess, and, and wanted to license it for the game. So uh, I feel really proud to own this one. Thank you, Lindsay. And um, I'll really cherish that one, you know. Um, so that's it guys um you know as you're thinking about things you go through in life uh and you know art's a luxury this game is a luxury there's a lot of been a lot of uh acrimonious angst and and bitching frankly about delays in the game i mean who cares you know nobody's perfect eric's a brilliant art director um creative person it shows in the product it's going to be phenomenal it's going to be amazing when it gets here um, it's a startup, right? I mean, nothing goes smoothly in startups. You have setbacks, you have unforeseen challenges. Um, yeah, maybe the communications could be better at some time. At sometimes maybe you get upset about that, but in the grand scheme of things and in life, that's small, doesn't matter. It's, it's coming soon. We're going to be happy. Nothing's ever perfect. 
the best things in life are worth waiting for. And um, this is going to be great. And I think it's, it's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, we've discovered 35 amazing artists and some of them we knew from other games, other projects that will go unnamed um, and others we remain for the first time. And they're awesome people. I think I've done 15 interviews on the website now and I've done a few live interviews and I, I look forward to doing many more of those and talking to these artists um, over the camera here, hopefully in person too, at different events and things. But um, yeah, just tip of the iceberg, you know, 35 artists and there's gonna be more like big names and even better, like people we don't even know, you know, that we're gonna discover for the first time in these future sets. And it's gonna be from the heart, all original hand painted traditional art and there's just nothing, nothing beats it. Nothing better in the world than hand painted traditional. Um, digital can be cool sometimes too, and there's a lot of skill and talent that uh, goes into that. But you know, the personal feels and the connection of um, just the high risk nature of traditional, unforgiving. Um, if you mess up, you're redoing the whole area or the whole piece, maybe. So it's high stakes, and um, there's phenomenal talent in this game. They're doing amazing work. So thank you to all the artists. Uh, it's a real honor and a pleasure discovering all the new artists has been a tremendous ride. And um, just want to thank everybody for following the channel, um, for hanging in there for a different kind of video. We got some, we'll get to more positive, fun um, things coming up. I got one more uh, alpha pre-con deck opening to do. And um, yeah, that's about it guys. Take care. Uh, shout out to my, my brother, Joe. I'll miss him. Still think about him. Uh, call your friends and family, guys. You never know. Take care, everybody. Until next time.